good day to you. Since I started wild camping and putting my videos on YouTube, I've had a lot of really, really lovely comments. Every, almost every single one has been positive. Uh, there was one chap who uh, wasn't overly keen and he used the, uh, amongst other things, he used the phrase sad man, which was a very good insight, I thought. He uh, probably the most insightful comment I've had. Um, but the vast, vast majority of, co of uh, comments have been wonderful. I've been inundated with absolutely no requests whatsoever to show the kit that I use when I go out. Um, I've been out seven times now. There's two garden camps to try it out, uh, a farmer's field and four, four wild camps. And all the kit that I've got has, has, has stood up really well and it's been good purchases and they've all been budget purchases um, because I'm tight. I've always been into camping, always. It's only been the last year though that we've had to go, well, we've gone on family camps because my wife hates it, she absolutely hates camping. My six-year-old daughter went for the first time last year and it was a real make or break exercise. My wife was hoping that Elsie would absolutely hate it and therefore my wife would never have to go camping again. They went to the Peak District and uh, camped for four days and there was a lot of rain. My wife was like, please, 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 please hate it, please hate it. And I was like, come on, come on, come on, come on, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. And at the end of the camping trip, Elsie's verdict was, she loved it. Yes. So, it has now come to pass that we are going on family camping trips for the foreseeable future, which is just great for me and Elsie. I think it was like the end of last September, I started watching wild camping videos and I watched more and more of them and I thought, mm, I really, I want to try that. I really definitely want to try that. But if I spend all the money on kit and I don't like it, that's going to be a bit rubbish, isn't it? But then I justified it to myself by thinking, by saying to myself that, um, well, I can always sell the stuff on if I don't like it, which is a pretty rubbish justification because if you use the stuff, you're never going to get any money for it. But it was self-delusional and it worked. I mean, I bought little bits at a time, uh, lots of watching lots of reviews, people that know what they're doing. Oh, and Hayes Outdoors, he was the first one I started watching. He's, he's good, he's really funny as well. He's like a lad you'd meet down the pub, but he really knows what he's doing. And, and I think I said before in my first video, they've all just got this glint in their eye about wild camping and, it's, and I've caught it, I've totally caught that bug. I just can't wait to get out all the time, just think about where I'm gonna go next. And I wanna push it as well, I wanna get a lot of hiking in, I wanna push my comfort zone uh, and do some really, do not extreme, but a little bit more challenging. I wanna go out in wind and rain, or I've had the windy bit, but that was that was easy. Rain, I don't like rain, I don't like rain at all. It's, uh, ooh, the thought of packing up a wet tent, but no, well, we'll, we'll, see, we'll see how that goes. So I'm going to show you today the kit that I've got and I'm just going to show you the basic kit first of all and I'm going to tell you how much it cost and as I say I'm tight and uh, I didn't go mad it's all budget stuff but then budget gear I, I guess is relative I mean the the tent I've got the Cloud Peak 2 uh, got for 140 pounds uh, to me that's quite expensive but the, the tent that that is based on uh, is a Hilleberg. That retails at around about 900 to 1,000 pounds. So if you look at it like that, relatively speaking, it is a budget tent. But then you can go a lot more budget, which I'll talk about uh, directly. So I'm gonna show you the, the, four, the four principal things, which are your tent, your sleeping system, your cooking system, and something to carry it all in. Without further ado, here's, uh, here's my kit. This is really good, isn't it? Look, everything you need in one box. Everything. You could live with just that. But there's a 
big movement these days for minimalism, isn't there? You know, like clear out your house, declutter, only have 36 items of clothing or 36 possessions, whatever. But that, that, that is minimalism. First of all, the tent. I've broken it down into a uh, compression sack. It gets a lot smaller than that to put in the tent. Put in the tent, to put in the rucksack. So there's the tent itself. Whoops. Pegs going separately. Pegs. Poles going separately. Pegs. The ground mat for the cloud peak too. And there we have it. Uh, that piece of kit, the tent, was the last thing that I actually bought. Um, <clears throat> and it's quite a funny story. Because it was the most expensive purchase, I left it to the last minute. I started amassing all this stuff around about the beginning of October. And, and mid, mid December, I still hadn't bought the tent. I'd got everything else, I hadn't bought the tent. Because I was just oohing and ahhing about shelling out so much money. And I really, all the reviews I'd seen, I really wanted the Cloud Peak 2. I really, really wanted it. And there was no doubt it was the best tent for me. And, and it's, it's proven that because I just love it. It's just fantastic. The Nature Hike Cloud Peak 2. Rugged hunk. Not included. Thanks, but there's a couple of little niggles that people pull, pull up, and it's one of them is that uh, if you've got the doors open and it's raining, the um, the tent kind of overlaps so that it, it will drip into the tent. But it's not rained yet, so I don't care. I probably will do, but at the moment, I don't care. But uh, yeah, mid December. It comes along, and I still haven't got a tent. I'm moving an hour, and I'm looking for the best deal. I was even thinking about going second hand on it. But uh, I'm laying there, laying on this sofa actually, one Saturday night, glass of wine, and I'm, I'm on my phone, I'm looking through. Um, I said, oh sod it, I'm gonna get it. And my wife said, I'm gonna get what? And I said, uh, I'm gonna get that tent, I'm gonna buy it now. And she went, don't. And as soon as she said that, I thought, she's got it for me, she's got it. And so, but I played the game and I said to her, what is that? And she goes, cause I got it for you for Christmas. And I was like, oh, right, really? And uh, I said, is it in the house then? And she was like, yes. I said, can I, can I have it now? <laughs> yes. So she went up and got it, and I was like totally made up, totally made up. Was, I got it all out, I'm sitting there the, on the sofa, looking at the poles, oh yeah, look, like aircraft grade aluminum, oh. Of course, I had to tell her that I loved her. And the funny thing is, for a minute, my wife, wife thought I was talking to her. Yeah, well, we laughed about that. Oh, but I will say one thing. I bought I bought a second tent actually, because it's um, it was cheap. But it's called the Tamar Two, and uh, if you want if you want to get costs down, instead of paying 140 quid, which my wife did for that, I bought this Tamar Two. It retails new at 55 quid, right? And it's about the same floor print, about the same size in the tent as, as the uh, Nature Hike, my tent. I got my one second hand on Facebook Marketplace for 20 pounds, right? And I put it up in the garden to see what it's like. And it's a bit ragged around the edges, but it's waterproof, right? It was out in the rain. So if you really want to budget down, I'd recommend one of those because as long as you're not, you know, you're not putting it through too many paces and it should, you're just testing the waters and it's your first time out and you're not sure if you're gonna like it, don't spend loads of money on a tent, for goodness sake. Buy a rubbish one, well, I said rubbish one, buy a, a cheaper one. And like I say, Facebook Marketplace is so good for that sort of stuff. You will pick up a bargain, absolute bargain, 20 quid. If you wanted 25 after the 20, God bless you, lovely, deal done. Anyway, moving on to, um, to my rucksack, which was an equally drawn out process. I went for this one. It's the Kestrel, oh, sorry, the Osprey Kestrel 68 litre. Um, I went for a really big backpack because I do a lot of traveling and stuff with work. I have to go to hotels and stuff like that. And I've always liked to have a rucksack rather than dragging a suitcase through dog shit. Do you know what I mean? And of course it looks cooler. It looks like you're uh, yeah, a man of the world. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I do suitcases, I'm, I'm a rucksack guy. So, uh, yeah, this is an older model. Uh, this particular one, if it's brand new, retails about 150 quid, which I was not going to pay. 
oh, again, I did all the research I could, watched, well, watched loads of videos, and uh, this brand, Osprey, just seemed to come out a lot. People just love them. And, um, and also, I'd, I'd, I'd go around Millets, and Millets stock these, um, and just look at the rucksacks. And, and, and it, these ones just seem so much nicer, so much sturdier than every, anything else that's, that's out there. But obviously, for that sturdiness, for that niceness, you pay a price. I went on eBay, and after a lot of failed bids and stuff like that, I've got this one for 80 plus the postage. Well, it sits beautifully, sits beautifully on your back. It's got a lovely curve there. You've got this airspace system that they use. It takes it away from your back a little bit. Um, and uh, it's just, the only thing it hasn't really got is lot, a lot of pockets around, but it hasn't got a lot of those. You've only got, really got two side pockets and of course the pork pie pocket, which is uh, a, a few scones I found their way into. Um, and it's just lovely. It's just absolutely superb bit of kit. Yeah, I'll, I'll show you what it replaced. One second. In 1988, a mate of mine went backpacking, uh, interrailing with his girlfriend. And when he came back, he said to me, I'm not doing anything like that again. That was awful. And he said, do you want this? And so he gave me it. 1988, I've had that for 34 years. And it's always been fine, absolutely fine. Argos, 12 quid in 1988. That's been to South America, it's been over the States three times, been to Australia, it's been all around Europe, and it's been to Margate, outbound. So, that's the tent and the rucksack. Again, with the rucksack, you can go way cheaper than, than that. Get something, and you don't have to go as big as that, obviously. Because most of the guys have got like 48 litre packs, something like that, you know, they don't go mad like me. They don't take uh, the sofa with them. I reckon you could get away with 40 quid. So my tent and my rucksack cost, what's that, 140, add 90, 230 quid. I reckon, if you really get it down, I reckon you could get away with 100 pounds for the two. Uh, right, so now, sleeping system. Sleeping system, as they say. My sleeping bag is this monster. It does compress down uh, quite a lot, but I can only just get it into the small bit of the uh, bottom of the rucksack. It's coming in at a hefty 2.2 kilos, but as you can see, it's a big square one. I move around a lot in my sleep and I don't like to be constricted. And so this is perfect for that. There's loads of room in it, loads of room. Um, in one of my practice camps in the garden, I went down, the temperature dropped to minus four. Right, I went out purposely to, uh, to test, test the tent, test the sleeping, sleeping bag and whatever. And, um, and it was all fine, it was all fine. I could feel the cold coming in, but it was just about a bay, and I was wrapped up. All you could see was my eyes. And to, be, and to be honest with you, as soon as I woke up, I was out of there like a bat out of hell, straight into the house and put the kettle on. So I didn't, <laughs> I didn't linger, but the cold didn't wake me up. It was cold, but it didn't wake me up. And that was minus four, this goes down to a comfort of zero. So it's, it's pretty good for winter. I wouldn't go much past minus four because I think you might suffer. But um, no, good enough, absolutely good enough. But it is heavy, it's really heavy, and I'll be, I'll be getting another lightweight one, and it, again, that'll be cheap for, uh, for winter, for, for summer. So uh, yeah, I'd recommend that one, it's good. But I got it about two, three months ago for 42 quid. So that's pretty good, pretty good, that's, it's warm. Uh, my mat is this Trekology UL80. Um, I've got absolutely nothing to compare this to because I've never had anything like this before. Never, had a, never bought a um, sleeping mat before, but it's comfortable. Um, it's got a, it's got a really bad R rating. This and apparently the R rating is how good it is when it's cold. It's n apparently not a good one when it's cold. So. I've got one of these uh, with the foil 
So yeah, the, I could feel the cold, but it was it was coming from the top. It was coming in from within the tent. It wasn't coming from the bottom. So these two did the trick in minus four. Now, sleeping bag, 42 quid. I got this, they, Amazon was doing a deal and it was 31. I think it's 40 quid now. And this was eight pound. And I got this pillow. Someone gave me that, it's quite expensive. So, but to me, and, and I've used the cheaper pillow, to me a pillow is a pillow, you know what I mean? It keeps your head up. And if you don't like the, the texture of it, just sling a jumper behind your head, you know, or put a t-shirt over it, whatever. So uh, you can get a pillow for a tenner, and I'm sure it'd be absolutely fine. So that's the sleeping, to total sleeping system, including the pillow, for 90 quid. That's pretty good. I don't think you'll get it much cheaper than that. Uh, and the last thing here <coughs> is my cooking system, which is this. Again, Amazon. And up until recently, I think they were knocking this out for 16 quid. I think I paid 18. So, in here, there's my gas. So in here, you've got pot, you've got the stove. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, someone messaged me saying that they got exactly the same as this. Um, and they've, they've had it a couple of years and it still works fine, which is good, which is really good. 18 quid so there you go stick that stick that on there set the tent on fire simple as that now the pot goes up to the big pot goes up to 800 milliliters so that's pretty, that's good for your pasta and sauce that'll do it fold up cup she got me look so even though she got me the fold up cup i like that that's old school look Welcome to the 1950s. I always have mental pictures of like that hanging off the back of the rucksack on a carabiner, you know what I mean, and clanking along. So uh, I will I will use that, it's not no weight to that. So if my calculations are correct, that entire basic kit, £339. Um, if my missus watches this video, she's gonna go spare. The first, the first thing she'll say is, I mean, the first thing she'll say will be, how much? Followed swiftly by you, Burke. I think I might, I might bite a bullet and before she sees this and just say, I'll tell her how much it cost and film the reaction and see how we get on. How much? You silly Burke. Yay. So the tent and the and the rucksack a 230 of that I reckon you could get that 230 down to a hundred pound like I said if you can get that 230 down to a hundred pound you're weighing in at just over 200 pounds for the kit but a lot so it's entirely up to you. If you're as tight as I am, then that's a consideration. If money isn't so much as a, of an object, then um, yeah, go for it. Go high end, whatever you like. So a few other bits that you don't need, but you might want. Um, got this chair. I mean, it's only featured in the first video because I sacked it off. Cause, well, it's not that heavy, it is heavy. And, uh, you only, I'm only really going to sit about a lot when it, when the, when the, um, when the weather gets a bit better. In the winter, you know, you don't really sit about a lot. But I got that off Facebook Marketplace. It features it only features in the first video, I think. And it's, but it's really good. It's really nice. It's comfortable. It's a proper, proper seat. I got that for fifteen quid off Amazon Marketplace. That, that's a bargain. I think these retail around about fifty. So again, bargain. But a bar, real bargain was this it's a stool and I got it out of millets and I looked at the price tag I was browsing I looked at the price tag and it said five pounds and I went up to the girl behind the counter and said is that right is that a fiver and she's like mm -hmm. so uh, yeah bought that and that's the one I've been taking out for the last three 
and you know, oh, it's a seat, lovely. It gets your bum off the floor, it gets your aching old bones off the floor, like that, like that a lot. Yeah. Got a lamp, look, there's a tenner. Got a torch just in case the lamp goes. Got a lighter in case the lamp goes, the torch goes. <laughs> And my mate got me this for Christmas. Then a Swiss Army knife. It's got loads of stuff on there, half of which I have, ow! Half of which I have no clue what they do. The main one I, that can immediately pull out, which I know where it is, is the bottle opener. So that's pretty much all I've got. I haven't had to get any stones out of any horse's hooves or anything. So uh, I'll carefully put that away. What's that? I didn't even know that was a. When I, the first time I went out, I got. I'm pulling all these blades out. I'm sitting on me. I'm sitting on my. Uh, sitting on my mat. I've got all these blades out. Feeling about of it, and it's like if I drop that on there, it's just going to go straight through. If someone if someone comes at you in the night, you can say, "Stay back, stay back, damn you." Oh yeah, and of course there's the uh, always important first aid kit. There you go. And if you're, if you're really in pain. So, that's it from me. Good night from me. And it's good night from him. Good night. Mummy? Mm. Is Daddy an idiot? Yes.